Welcome back to EG Trekking Careers. Our next two stories focus on women who signed up for programs many women might not think they could be successful in. Are you interested in the automotive career? Our next story, produced by Don Pierce, just might inspire you to sign up. So this is where the throttle body uh, would go. This is the intake. I actually started being interested in cars when I was around 15. I'm tightening it. Ariana Gonzalez is working in a so-called man's world. Uh, a lot of the boys mentioned that I looked really scared and intimidated like the first maybe two months. But she didn't let that stop her from going after her dream. My favorite part is actually taking apart uh, the engine. That was my favorite class. Ariana is taking the automotive service program here at Emily Griffith Technical College. Besides being interested in cars, she had another motivation for going in this direction. To show other women that also it's not just a voice thing, um, that women are capable of doing whatever men can do. Here, there. Ariana did face some obstacles, like from home. No, my family wasn't uh, all jumping for joy. They're all the Mexican traditional family. Women goes to do this. Uh, the men works in this. Um, but still, they supported me through it. Um, they didn't agree with it, but they supported me through it. But after her dad had a leak in his radiator. Oh, well, Dad, we had done this in class. Like, that was our first class that we took. And I was like, I can go ahead and take up the radiator. Dad was about to take it to a mechanic, but instead. So I did it myself, and I saved my parents' money. Ariana even has a job at Shop Automotive, where as a woman, she is already making a difference. Listen to what happened when a mother and daughter came in for a minor repair. Her little daughter in the back, uh, not really screaming, but telling her mom, she's like, Mommy, you see, a girl's working on our car. And then her mom just comes over to me ecstatic, and she's like, oh, we're just teaching our daughter that whatever a man can do, girls can do. She's like, oh, you're a good example about that. Made me feel really proud. I thought you listened to it enough. So what does Ariana think about Emily Griffith? Uh, I think Emily Griffith is great. Uh, they gave me the opportunity to learn. They gave me a scholarship. They gave me an instructor that helps me. Um, when I have any questions, he'll answer it or if that way I still don't understand, he'll go ahead and explain it. And then I also have peers that help me a lot and they support me through what I do. Ariana is proof that the automotive garage can be a woman's world too. Mechanics are more of technicians as more and more cars rely on computers. Employers want more brains than brawn. As employers diversify, they are looking for smart, skilled, trained females for their shops. Another industry that's placing an extra value on female workers is welding. Did you know only about 3% of U.S. professional welders are female? If that doesn't interest you enough, how about a story that compares dancing to welding? Walk into any metal shop and ask if they're hiring good metal fabricators. Chances are you'll hear yes. The work is outpacing qualified tradespeople. Welding is a male-dominated career. In a way, it's kind of understandable that men have a natural advantage of dealing with heavy metal. Meet Lubda Lipton. People would always say, where did you get the idea to do that? Boys do it. Why are you doing it? Women don't do it. And I'm saying, why not? Why not indeed? An aging workforce needs fresh faces, not afraid to get a little dirty. I would say just get up in the morning, wash your face, don't worry about anything else, come to the shop, you're going to get soot on your face anyway. Soot. Suits are just fine. I'm not the kind of person to get up early in the morning and like to put makeup on and get dressed and go to an office job and do it that way. Instead, she chooses this metal work that requires much proficiency. It's a very strenuous mental and physical discipline. So are there aspects women have the upper hand in welding? There is a certain finesse to welding that sort of related more with a woman than a man. In certain techniques, women probably have a certain advantage. TIG welding is one of those procedures. There is a certain refinement in TIG welding because it's a very fine uh, torch you're dealing with and the bead is very fine. Lubna compares this precise hand-eye coordination to dancing. They both involve a dexterity and they both involve a certain type of mental tuning with your physical self. This may look simple, but... It is a very, very frustrating process. 
Luckily, there's opportunities to vent and be productive. It makes you angry to the point where you really feel like hammering the crap out of things and it's a good place to be because then you get to do that. For Lubna, this frustration led to... I have developed a whole new level of respect for men who've built this world. Literally, it wouldn't have been possible if men were not welding. She wants you to consider metalwork as a career. It's about time that more females should come and explore non-traditional professions. Coming up next, we'll go inside the steel and lather barbering company and meet three successful students from Emily Griffith Technical College.